So welcome back. Now we are ready to experience the power of Google Analytics by understanding the various aspects of its interface. So without wasting much time, let us start the next part of this module. Go to Home. This is the interface of Google Analytics. There are a bunch of reports available and we are going to talk about all these reports. But there is one problem and that problem is related to the data. We don't have sufficient data here to understand all the reports of Google Analytics as we have just linked our website to the Google Analytics and not many activities are happening on our website. But we need data. From where this data will come? Relax. Thanks to the Google, Google has provided a free access to its merchandise store website that we can use for learning purpose. How to access it? The process is very simple. Visit this link. I have given the link in the description also. This page explains the demo account of Google Analytics. Click on Access Demo Account. If you are already logged to the Google Analytics account, you will be prompted to this page. It means demo account is created for you. You can confirm it by going to the admin and then to accounts. See, a demo account is here as well as my original account. Under this account, there is one property called Google Merchandise Store. Click on Home and we have new dashboard. Next time, when you will open your Google Analytics dashboard, this one is very important. It shows that the data given below is about which of the property. For example, the data given below is about the property Google Merchandise Store. If you want to change the property, just click on this. Select your account, then property and select the view. Now see, it shows me the data related to my newly created property that is DMOOC. As we don't have the data here, go back to the demo account. This is the first page you will come across every time when you will log into your Google account. It's not very detailed information, but it will give you the bird's eye view of what exactly is happening in your website. And you have the basic idea about various activities related to your website. Here, we have different types of dashboard which are customizable in the nature and you can increase or decrease the number of these dashboards. In simple language, they are called cards as well. These cards give you the overall health report of your website in a very broad way. So let us try to understand what these cards are and what sort of information they are providing. This card is about Google Analytics Home. First note, what is the time frame of the data? Presently, it shows me the data for last 7 days. If you want to change the time frame, you can change it as well. Click on it. We have many combinations and options like today, yesterday, last 28 days and so on. Just select the appropriate one. Let us see what information it offers. First we have the users. Simply how many users visited your website in a given time frame. In this case around 15,000 plus users visited the website during the last 7 days. Next, we have the information related to revenue and conversion rates. So this is useful information if you are an online store. This one is important called session. In layman's language, session is counted when a visitor will land on your website and he will spend some specific time with your website. How sessions are calculated? I have given a detailed article on this in the additional readings. Just go through it. Normally, a session ends after 30 minutes of inactivity on each page. 
For example, when a user, say Sham, arrives on your site, analytics start counting from that moment. If 30 minutes pass without any kind of interaction from the Sham, the session ends. However, every time Sham interacts with the elements like an event, social interaction or a new page, Analytic reset the expiration time by adding an additional 30 minutes from the time of that interaction. Please refer to article for more details. As I said, these cards are customizable. You may set what metrics you want here. Let me show you my original account. As we don't have the data for last 7 days, let me change it to today. Now see here, we have different metrics like users, then we have the sessions, the bounce rate. Now what is bounce rate? Suppose a user lands on any page of your website, say home page, he stays and exits from the website without visiting another page of the website. This will be called, he bounced back from the website and bounce rate is simply user who bounced back divided by the total user in a given time period. Bounce rate is simply users who bounced back divided by the total number of users in a given time period. Next is the session duration that means total time spent by the user on a web. To understand other cards, let us go back to our demo account. Next we have the real-time data. It shows that at present 21 users are active on my website. This shows the page views per minute. For every minute detail is there. As I said, this information is just indicative in the nature. If you want a detailed information, you can click on detail report as well. The next block is about how do we acquire users. It is simply from where the traffic is coming to my website. First, we have the traffic channel. The user may come to your website through organic search. He may come through referrals. He may come directly typing URL of your website. He may come by paid search, that is through ads on the search engines or others. Hover the cursor to any date and it will give you the number of users coming from these sources. See, on 22nd September, maximum users are coming from organic search and so on. Next we have the source or medium. It almost similar to the traffic channel. We will talk about it in the acquisition reports. Lastly we have the referrals. You may run many referral campaigns. How many users are coming through these referrals? You can check that from here. Next we have how our active users are trending. How well we are retaining the users. I will talk about these metrics in detail when we will discuss the behavior reports. This is something very important. This card gives you the idea about when your user visit your site. It will show you the information day wise and time. You can check on a particular day at a particular time how many users are there on a site. The shade of the blue color represents the number of users. The light color is less number of users and the dark color is more number of users. Between 7 am to 2 pm maximum users were there on the site and so on. The next block is about the location. It shows from where the users are coming to your website. Maximum number of users are from USA followed by India and Canada. The next card is about the devices. Maximum number of users are coming from desktop to the website followed by mobile phones and tablets. Next we have the page details. It shows how many page views are there for each page. You can clearly see which page is the most visited page by the your users. It will help you to take the decision to modify those pages where the less number of views are. The page value is applicable to e-commerce sites. Next we have how are we performing on our goals. We will talk about goals in a separate modules. These last two blocks are related to e-commerce sites. 
showing revenue and ad campaign performance. So this was the brief discussion on the interface of Google Analytics. I hope now you have a bit idea about Google Analytics interface and various cards shown on the home page of the Google Analytics. Actually, these cards present an overview of what is happening in your website and there is a detailed information behind these. So I will talk about this detailed information in the next module.